Utah Water Polo Olympus High School. Tell us uh, about this program and what it's meant to you the last four years. Um, well, I started my freshman year of high school, and I definitely, I loved it every second that I did it, and I made a ton of friends doing it, which is really nice. And you'll see a lot of those friends popping up in the comments now. Could get a little distracting. There's going to be a lot of love for you here, Kate, which is awesome to see. When you find out there's not going to be a spring season, you're not going to get a chance to go through all the normal stuff that you would, what, what sort of was your reaction to that? Um, I was really sad at first just because I was, I was working really hard during fall season. And, yeah, I was really sad. But our team has made a big, like, made a huge emphasis on, like, staying together. And we do, like, Zoom calls with workouts, which is really fun. What would your coach or, or maybe a fellow classmate say to you? You know, was there someone that was trying to kind of really keep everyone together and keep it positive? What was the message you were, you were hearing from coaches about that? Um, well, our coach, Alexis, really did a good job with that. And she just always had us, like, stay positive. This is going to pass. Yeah, well, and it will, it will. So, we're, so we're waiting on that. All of us are waiting for this to pass so we can get back in the pool, get back to playing water polo. I've asked all the other seniors this. I'll ask this to you too. What's what's next for you after high school, and will water polo be a part of that? Uh, I decided to go down to Dixie State, and they just barely like made a new team. So, I think I'll maybe try and be on their club team. Okay, and this is a college in Utah. Yeah. Okay, Dixie State in Utah, excellent. So hopefully you can be a part of that program. If if you don't play water polo again, we're of course hoping that you do, but if you don't, what's what's been like a favorite memory from your time in the sport? Um, I definitely liked going on the tournaments just because we got all the girls got to sleep together and wake up and play lots of games. So that was really fun. We've been asking people around the country if – uh, others maybe aren't as familiar with high school water polo in that state. So, for example, we had Tennessee on the other day. They were explaining it's co-ed. Washington was explaining, well, some schools merge together to make one team. In Utah, I know they label it 4A is one group and then 5A, 6A is another. How would you describe that? Is it is it different size schools, different levels of competition? How does that kind of get broken down? So we kind of break it down with the size of the school, and then that is, like, who you'll play in the state tournament. So is your school fall into the to the bigger or the smaller? Where does Olympus fit? We're the big schools. We're 5A. Gotcha. Okay, 5A. If you follow uh, high school water polo in Utah, you know, last year on the girls' side, uh, Kearns, who is always one of the top teams, they defeated Harriman. I feel like you always hear about those schools in Utah. And then the 4A was Canyon View winning winning the girls' championships, just to give a little hype there to some of the some of the Utah State champs. Now, did you play club water polo in Utah as well? Yeah, just with the same, like, Olympus Water Polo Club. So, same exact team, high school and club? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Excellent. Um, and so, we talked to the Illinois athletes about the kind of the pride they have in being from Illinois and, and representing their state when they play elsewhere. Do you find that in Utah, like when, when, when you get a chance to play with your club, maybe out of state or play out of town, is there, is there a real sense of pride representing your area, and why is that? Um, yeah, I definitely think we have a sense of pride just because water polo is still kind of on the uprise in Utah, and so it's cool to, like, be able to go to California and play and be able to, like, be one of the, like, one of the Utah teams that are on the rise. Have you seen it grow? If you think back to your freshman year to now, does it feel like the sport is getting bigger in Utah? Yeah, I definitely think it's getting bigger. And it's more well-known, I think. What will you miss about being around all of your teammates? You know, not, not so much the water polo itself, but just, but just being with that group of people. You know, I imagine you've made some of your best friends playing water polo. What, what will you miss about being around them? Um, I definitely have made up some of my best friends on the team and we just always like every practice our coach kind of made an emphasis just to have fun and so we were always laughing with each other and having fun so I'll definitely miss that. 
Yeah, excellent. Hey, well, last thing for you, uh, we've been asking kind of a local question to everyone. Who's your all-time favorite player on the Utah Jazz? Um, I do not watch. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought maybe someone in the background might yell out like, Donovan Mitchell. Um, okay, good <laughs> enough. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Kate, for your time. Really appreciate it. Best of luck uh, at college going forward and with the rest of your senior year. We appreciate your time. Thank you.